that nigga you say can't win nothing, so why you worry about me? I ain't taking that man no pictures. When I get up there, I'm coming. Hey, right over there, man. Take some pictures. Where, where your studs at, man? They, they, they mixed up in here somewhere. All that man here, man. They mixed up. All right, I'm finally at Hadley Park with one Robert Jones. Yeah, here you go with the interview. Hey, what you think? I, this is what I do. First of all, you don't... He's dang too, man, because we going to win tonight. Well, well, let's talk about something that might <laughs> actually happen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> let's, talk about, let's talk about the 120s, man. They're going to my stud with three, three linebackers right there, man. Oh, yeah, these, yeah. these are your linebackers three, right here? They're going to three on right there, man. Training with these canes. Okay, so which one of these is Mike Lundy killers? All three of them. All three of them? All three now, of them. Now, he say he got a good offense. He say he one of the best OCs. Everybody got a good offense. Everybody say that. I feel like I got a good offense. Now, now, now what? Do we got a good defensive coordinator? Because when the game come, he ain't going to play against me. I got to have his defensive coordinator. I'm an offensive coordinator, man. So who is defensive coordinator? That's who I want to talk to. I'm tired of talking to Mike. Mike talking, man. I don't want to talk to Mike. Mike L.I. King never been to Nationals. He got put on the clock. He L.I. King never went up there and lost. He finally won. I'm proud of him. That shit comes to but, the end I mean, of but, but listen, he calling you out like. Like he know me. <laughs> he don't even know Rob, man. He, from he don't know I'm the legend killer. Y'all better tell him. Everybody done called Rob out. Stepped on my pound. Was unsuccessful. Well, let me ask you a, a, a question. You let me ask you a question you ain't gonna expect me to ask. I'm listening. But you gotta answer it because it's live and direct. Hot Bear Radio. Check it out. Listen. A man who used to coach on this park won a national championship on this park. Joe Narcisse. What about him? How come he ain't lined it up on the 120s and go up with his team over there at the church? And face rock? You ain't heard what I just said? <laughs> You my man, hear what I said, man. What? I thought that was your man. I thought that was your fault. No, that's my dude now. He a warrior to the, to the end, he, regardless if he over there with the Bulls. But that's my I dude. Heard, I heard he was trying to sit down and come back, though. That's just what the rumors say. Okay, that's what the streets say, man. Listen, man. He decided he wanted to go up. I can't, I stayed where I was at. I ain't moved. So whatever reason he said he wanted to go up, that's him. I don't have nothing to do with that. As far as Mike Lundy go, man, last time I checked, Joe had him in the headlock. He got him a little trick playoff in one. And skateboarded his ass to National School, my friend. But man, listen, I don't call dude. That's my homeboy. He cool, but right now I'm on this football, man. And when the time comes, it gonna come. I'm gonna put that on the record. It gonna come. Thanksgiving weekend, it gonna come. He shouldn't expect to see nobody else but me. I'm gonna sit in the lobby with him the night before, and he know his ass is mine the next morning. <laughs> with them same kids that he just beat. Now, now he say he got some kids. He been thinking about getting these kids for three years back in 09, 08. He was thinking yeah. about getting these kids. Why he, he why he ran about that? He just won nationals with a team he already got. Why he ran about some new kids? He's saying these kids. He probably back. feel like them kids he just had ain't enough. Something wrong, coach. If you got a national team, why would you be worrying about some new kids? Is, is he experienced? Does he have the, the pedigree? No, nah, he well experienced, man. Doing a good coach. I ain't taking nothing from his coach. But what I'm saying is, you won nationals on the 105s. You on the 120s now. This is my lane. Like I told him, Wiggs down south, Sean, this is my lane. When you step in this lane, put your blinkers on, man, or you going to get hit fast. And I'm going to keep going. I ain't pulling over. Now, now, set the record straight. You don't won every Super Bowl for how many leagues? How many of the past years? Six consecutive years. So you going for number seven? I'm going for number seven. So you ain't never lost in the Super Bowl? Never lost. How many games you done lost over them past six years? Over six years, I done lost one or more par. One of my guard Ravens, which is the last team beat me in the state of Florida. I ain't say Sweetwater, I said Miami Gardens Ravens. Coach Rob Mack is the last coach to beat me in the state of Florida. That was what, four years ago? Five years ago. Five years ago, man. Then he told my uh, oh, hold on, put this on the record. Mike called me and said, oh, uh, you got a pass because you beat up on some white boys from Mandarin. Last time I checked, Mandarin beat Sweetwater two years in a row to get to the regional championship. Is that my fault, coach? Because Sweetwater couldn't beat Mandarin and I beat them twice? So, you know, tell Mike Lundy, man, I'm going to see him, though. And after I whoop him, I'm going to give him his pass to move to Miami because you know he's moving to Miami next year. I'm going to give him his pass. He got to get that hall pass from me. Hey, but uh, when he moved down here, is is he even going to be allowed to move after he faces him? Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll be welcome. He'll be welcome to move down here, but then he'll see what real football is about. He, he'll see that you can't just be 
beat one team and beat everybody. Down here, we play real football, man. We play real football. You get real competition every year. It ain't going to just be your team and you gone. I got to fight to get where I'm going to get at, but I'm going to get there. Now, last question. Is it? Before you see Mike or Jacksonville or whoever else, you got to see these dudes around town. Sean Horn, he ain't going to lay down. Wig, you know, all these other dudes in 120s. You know what I'm saying? They they say they got something pretty much at every park. What, what you got to say about it? Man, all I got to say about that is, at this point right now, everybody feel like they're going to the Super Bowl. Everybody going to Nationals. As of right now, and this is what, June? As of June, everybody going to the Nationals, man. So come back and ask me that question in October. And then we'll see what the answer is. By then, you will know for sure if you're going or not. But just to make sure I got your resume straight, six straight Super Bowls. Six straight Super Bowls. How many undefeated seasons? Ooh, good question. Undefeated seasons. 70s, 90s, 105, 120. We ain't gonna count the 105s and the 120s because I lost in the national in the national. But six straight Super Bowls, two regional championships, one bowl after the bowl in the Orange Bowl, one bowl after the bowl at Curtis against Scott Lake. It's long, coach. The resume long, man. I got a, I got a lot of, a lot of hardware in that office in that man with my name on it. Rob Jones. Yeah. Got a lot of hardware in there. All right, man, that's a hot bad world. We're going to let you go, man. All right. On the radio.